All right, everybody. We're just gonna do a really old uh, unboxing here for premium deck series uh, slivers. I picked up at Walmart for uh, $24.98, 20 off from uh, $34.98. And uh, I just wanna point something out real fast is the, the top here it looks real nice. I mean, I know plastic has a bit of a gloss to it, but if you look at the coloring in there, it's really amazing looking. In the back of the box, we got all this like nice little wrapping things. But I think once I open this, this uh, whole container is just gonna kind of fall apart, and it's not the box itself. It's just it's just the packaging for it. It's it's not really a nice container like it appears. So let's open it up. We'll take a fast look. And uh, let's talk a little bit of history of Slivers while I open this. Slivers started off um, somewhere around Stronghold, I know. And when Sliver Queen was printed, it really got a boost to the Sliver um, uh, Tribal deck. Before Tribal was really a thing. And Slivers was kind of like the first push towards Tribal with all these creatures working together. And... Uh, that's pretty much all the history you need to know about it, um, tribal-wise, I guess. That's, that's, that's only really relevant information. Once we got Sliver Queen, that was it. And uh, everyone's been loving Slivers ever since. So when we're looking at the packaging here and the deck, we're seeing the history of Slivers in the form that this is something people have been waiting for. This is something I've been waiting for since uh, Slivers came back out for me and that was back in uh, Legions so I'm really excited to get my hands on this because this is years and years in the making for me you know I've been waiting years and years for it look at that the container is still around I might keep that I haven't decided yet so we have the box uh, spin down life counter and the uh, specific promotional cards they have on there now some of these are not the greatest promotional cards, but here we have a Sliver Overlord, which is uh, fairly cheap on eBay the way it is, but, you know, box set Sliver Foilness. Always nice to have with uh, Brute Sliver. Two good ones. Crystalline Sliver. Come on, Crystalline. And uh, Wing Sliver. Okay. Not uh, rares, just common on common. Acidic Sliver and Muscle Sliver. Necrotic and a Rootbound Craig. Rootbound Craig, um, I believe came out in 10th edition. And this was the um, promotional box set for it. So you can kind of get your another reason for them to sell the box set, I guess. Uh, this one's the uh, two sacrifice permanent you gain for life. Victual, I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, coat of arms, classic um, tribal strategy element there. Traditional spin down life counter. And uh, one thing I do like about the premium deck series is the boxes are all shiny. Who doesn't like more shine? And this sliver deck really does fit in with. Um, our commander decks nowadays. You could really build a solid commander deck out of this. Pamphlet, we're not going to get into that. So of course the whole deck is uh, foiled out. It's a premium deck series. And uh, what you want to call it? Got some Tempest uh, art lands there. Vivid Grove, two of those, two Vivid Creeks. Oh, I got a miscut. Ooh, look at that. Looks like I got quite a few miscuts in here. Fronts and backs on the miscuts. Look at that. That is not how cards are supposed to look. These are going to be put in the sleeves so I can use them. Unless I plan to never take them out. And it looks like the cut gets greater and greater. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's just on this land set though. 
Rapture Spire here. Look at that cut on top. It's very close to the top. Yeah. Uh, Ancient Ziggurats. Wild Pair. Wild Pair was never a fun card for me. Always seemed kind of useless. Fungus Liver. There's a fun one. And again, it's miscut. We'll talk more about that in a minute. If it was only on one side, it wouldn't be so bad, but... but it's not on one side, it's on both sides of the card. It totally ruins the print run for me. <laughs> Changeling in the sliver deck. That's not fun. So there we go. Your uh, MVP of the whole shebang here is your uh, sliver overlord. We'll get a close up of that. As close to a close up as I can get with this uh, cheap web camera. Okay. Back is uh, not destroyed with the print run. Looks like the ones up front are perfectly fine. I'll probably send Wizards a complaint regarding that because that's pretty ridiculous that it's been cut. So let's talk about uh, the cuts real fast. When you have a card that's like this on the front, it doesn't affect the gameplay. But in the back it does because this would qualify as a uh, marked card in some cases because you can tell that between these and the other cards in your deck, this has got a thicker black bottom on it. And that's going to let you know what's coming up next, possibly. So, if I was a judge, I would not allow a card like this to be played with out of sleeves. But I'm not a judge. <laughs> Same is true for this one, top and bottom there. Real thin on the top. Uh, real thick on the bottom. I've never had um, cards like this before, so I'll probably end up keeping these. That's uh, your review of uh, Premium Deck Series Slivers, I guess. All that's left is this thing here, so if you don't care what this thing is, you can just uh, turn off the video now. This is a really old unboxing video. But uh, I didn't have it yet, and I figured I'd unbox it for you guys while I was checking it out. Talking about uh, cards that aren't cut right. Some people actually do pay quite a bit to get their hands on them. Okay, let's just uh, learn how to play. That goes right in the trash. These I save sometimes. to make a good wall decoration for a while until you find something else to put there. So, there's uh, how to play the deck on this side. And on the other side, we have the whole sliver list and uh, a little bit of history, it looks like, on the back. Yeah. These things are always uh, just worth glancing at. Maybe they'll let you in on some information you didn't quite know about. And for you newer players, um, on this sheet here on all the cards in the deck, you can see that, like for example, Armor Sliver, was printed in, it tells you right here, Tempest Block, probably just Tempest itself, um, October of 1997. It lets you know right there. Oh my goodness, maybe this is all the slivers ever printed. It's got Sliver Queen on here. What are we looking at here? We have Sliver Legion on the bottom, Future Sites listed, then our Chaos is listed. It looks like they got uh, all the slivers on here. Sliver Overlord, Sliver Legion. Sliver Legion wasn't uh, that much fun to start with. Ah, slivers through the ages. It does have a whole list right here of slivers that have been printed. So, there you go, guys. That's uh, going to do it for this uh, Friday video, I guess. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, uh, let me know. So, uh, Cabal out, I guess.